Hello and welcome to Ula Tea Leaf Readings. My name is Lenore and tonight I'm going to be reading your tea leaves. This is a horoscope for Cancer. If Cancer is your solar, lunar, ascendant slash rising sign, then this is a message for you. All right, let's get started. And so our card tonight is the Five of Wands. And that has everything to do with strife. Hello, T. Come here. Oh, come on, girl. Okay. And let's see what these tea leaves have to say. And if you have not subscribed yet, please think about doing that. You can hit the little bell. It'll let you know when the next videos are coming out. It is free to subscribe. Okay, so... All right. Well, I want to start with, I'm going to, let me spin it, actually. I want to see. Okay. So I want to start, uh, oh, wow, look at that. It looks like a big rabbit. Look at this. The face right here, the ears. The body, you can see the eye, right? This is not, the face is up here with the eye, but this is another face kind of hidden in the chest area there. And then behind it, we have um, what looks like a bowl as well. Um, and you can see the horns right here. So very interesting. Um, the rabbit, of course, is fertility. <laughs> um, I always think of fertility. I always think of the moon as well with the rabbit. Um, they are uh, both, they're out during the day, but mostly nocturnal, okay? And um, it also reminds me of a Kenneth Anger film called Rabbit Moon. Um, but, and that's my association in my mind there. Uh, but it is, it is this very kind of lunar, watery, uh, emotional, shifting emotions, almost kind of moody at times, mercurial. And, um, and so I see in this very prominent, prominent formation, it's most of the bowl, isn't it? Uh, it, it lets me know, um, that this is a time of great creativity or the ability to figure out how to create resources for yourself. You are making money. Okay. You are very, uh, well versed in whatever it is that you do. If it's your career, if it's a side hustle, if it's a business, if it's, um, you know, something that you've just begun working on, uh, I think that you're very, you're well studied, you have, you know, had to um, get in there, figure out how things actually function in IRL, the real world, <laughs> not just in a book, not just in theory, you know, um, how to fix things, how to uh, get them going again, and how to shift uh, with the times, right? You're adaptable. So, you know, I think that this makes you somebody who is pretty successful, at least at your level or idea of success, okay? Um, if that is in how proficient you are, if you have mastered uh, the skill or um, industry that you're in, or if this is about making money, maybe it's about having a, a, a work environment that, or um, an outlet to put all of your, um, you know, dreams into your uh, connection to the divine, it flows through, and here you have this 
space to make use of your relationship with that uh, ineffable thing, that that spirit, and um, and yeah, and I think it it just kind of multiplies, doesn't it? Um, sometimes I think you even feel like maybe you are. Um, not even working that hard. And yet here you are, you know, spending so many hours of your day tinkering and adjusting and, and getting things just right. You are somebody who is, uh, quite focused. Now we also have, uh, the, the bowl, right? So another sign of power, Okay, this is uh, a sign of stamina and wherewithal. There is a sense of um, really commanding yourself. Now, we're talking about cancer. Um, and you all, I don't know. Are you in management roles a lot? I'm not really sure. I don't perceive cancers as being um, great administrative or managing people, but the, I, what do I know, right? I have no clue um, as far as if it's something you excel in or not. But what I do know is cancers are really good at keeping yourselves motivated. You don't need somebody, you know, kind of breathing down your neck or looking over your shoulder. Um, you're really good at what you do. Even if the person trying to figure out what you're doing, they just don't know. How did you come to this conclusion? How did you get this done? How did you fix this? Um, you just, you're so in tune with the things that you're doing that, uh, it doesn't, you know, you, you don't have, you don't feel the need to explain always. And, um, and so, uh, but on the other hand, as I'm saying that I'm thinking, <laughs> I am thinking that cancers are amazing teachers, so I think when you are teaching somebody who is, you know, there to receive knowledge from you, that's a different story. Um, but if it's somebody who's really trying to confine you and keep you under their thumb and really um, interfere with your process, with your flow, uh, that's where it's kind of like, nah, I'm okay. <laughs> you know, like, I'm, I'm pretty good at doing this by myself. Um, so... I could see you in a position where you have kind of a lot of um, leeway to kind of work in the way that you want and have the workflow that you want. Uh, and maybe this is that you own your own business or, you know, you're working at a small enough place that you have a lot of kind of latitude or, you know, maybe maybe you are in a high position um, where you don't have to be kind of, you know, micromanaged. And I think that's where I would see you really doing some deep work, okay? Now, we did talk about this eye right here, this kind of, it looks like two of them there. Um, so, I really, I feel like there is a sense of, a sense of uh, kind of watching your own back. I think, I think you're pretty um, suspicious of people that get a little too close that you have not invited into your world. And I feel like this is, um, kind of an energy of, uh, you know, you're kind of crossing boundaries. I'm keeping an eye out. Somebody's getting a little bit too in the mix of my personal life, of my work life or whatever it is. And, um, and I don't think that you particularly appreciate being, um, approached. Okay. So, uh, I do, I feel like this is a sense of, okay, my guards are up a little bit. Okay. I'm feeling like something, something, hmm, a little strange happening here. Right. Okay. Now I wanted to go. Where are you? I wanted to go right here. Okay. So we have we have a a, gold, a goldfish, a big goldfish right here. You can see the the mouth right here. 
here is the body and the tail right in here, okay? And this looks like some kind of food it's feeding on. It looks like a little flower maybe. Um, and then down here we have kind of this uh, satyr, almost kind of a pan um, looking formation. And I just want to apologize. I know my voice is rough here. I, <laughs> I'm getting better. I'm feeling better than I was. I have the flu, by the way. Um, and, uh, and I'm getting better. Uh, but now my ear is really plugged, so I can barely hear, and um, and I hope that I sound a little bit normal, a little, you know, maybe um, not too, too terrible, but it is hard to tell. So I apologize, and I thank you for putting up with it, and, um, and I, I really do appreciate it. Okay, so we have the satyr right here. You can see the head, the body, kind of the legs. It looks like dancing, and we know kind of that bacchanalian um, ecstasy, uh, you, ecstatic dance being kind of just taken by the beat of the of the music and and enchanted and 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 all of this kind of thing now next to it we have and it reminds me immediately of it's a bird but also a person and you can kind of see the face here um and maybe some hair um and this is the uh what is it called the siren right the original siren the we think of a siren usually as like a like a um mermaid kind of you know half fish half person uh but there are sirens that um are f they were f uh birds okay and i and i know them from kind of slavic um mythology and so f they are birds they also um have kind of human um features at the top there the head and body and and so on um or maybe it's just the head. Now I can't think of it exactly. But <laughs> it's either just the top portion of like the abdomen and the head. Or maybe it's just the face. I don't remember. Um, but either way, it's kind of the same thing, right? Kind of this drawing in of, uh, of the uh, attentions of others. Drawing them in. Um, bringing them to their rune, right? So um, I look at this all together. We have the goldfish. The goldfish is abundance. The goldfish is prosperity. The goldfish is longevity, good health, um, you know, all the things that we're looking for. Uh, and so we also have that kind of just, you know, if you can imagine dancing, dancing beneath the moonlight, um, you know, partaking in the Bacchanalian festivities, often wines and things like this. Um, uh, I remember um, listening to Terrence McKenna and he spoke a lot about the um, partaking in the sacred honey right um which is a plant a plant um medicine and uh and so you know kind of in this very um altered and and rhythmic and and i'm not saying this is what you're doing but i'm saying um in the similar state of mind inhibitions kind of lowered enjoying life uh, kind of just really in the celebratory place, you know, not feeling super um, stuck in a in a in a kind of what is the word somewhere that is just you have no upward movement, you have no um, autonomy, uh, you know, just a, kind of a meaningless or the feeling of lacking meaning and this is the opposite this is kind of like really just in the moment okay finding little joys wherever you can um but i do think that we have somebody around um and i think this is maybe the person that you're perceiving that is kind of pursuing you or 
um, they have, I don't know, maybe approached you a little bit and um, immediately bad vibes to just, I don't, something about them, um, it seems very cunning and uh and i do think that you perceive this those eyes that we saw with the rabbit um it seems like you know almost kind of this feeling of somebody um noticing that you are doing so well and all of a sudden they're coming out of the woodwork right and um and you know it's i think under circumstances of doing well not doing well, and I mean financially mostly, but just also in general, how you're feeling about your life, how, how, um, you know, how, uh, social you are, you are feeling and, um, creative and pursuing passionate, um, things that are meaningful to you. Um, however you would man, you would measure a life that is, um, you know, pretty worthwhile. Uh, either way, if you, if that's going really well or not that well. Okay. Um, I think that you're very suspect of most people that kind of come out of nowhere. Um, you know, and I think that's a lot, a cancer thing. I think that you're somebody that likes to pursue others. Um, not necessarily the reverse. Um, and if they do pursue you, I think it takes quite a bit of vetting on your part. And so, um, but this one in particular, I think that you have a right on feeling about it. I think that this is somebody who, I don't know, they just throw off this kind of um, an energy of, of, you know, immediately becoming... Um, very familiar, right? They just kind of um, get into a place of feeling like they can insert themselves into your life, your happenings, and um, and it doesn't feel like you've invited them, okay? Um, and so, you know, I think this is a, a place to kind of check in with yourself because I know when you start to really feel good, you know, about life and things and it's like, oh, hey, you know, I'm making new friends and everything's cool. And even though I have a kind of a weird feeling about this certain person, um, you know, uh, it must not be that, that bad, right? Maybe it's, maybe I'm just kind of overreacting um because everything else is going so well so why you know why would some um you know predatory person kind of find their way into my life and um and you know I don't know but that does happen right and so I think it's important to continue to check in with yourself because although I think that you usually really trust yourself and you kind of have a really good sense of people and situations, um, when you're in this kind of upward um, um, emotional mood uh, place, you I feel like you um, maybe kind of don't, I don't know, you just, I think that you just kind of want things to go smoothly, you know, you want to kick back, enjoy, um, have some fun, and, um, and, you know, unfortunately, in the world that we live in, um, you know, not everybody is on the same, uh, energy vibe, <laughs> right, and so, uh, yes, I do. I think that this is somebody to look out for. And I think you know who it is. I think it's, you know, maybe a romantic, beginnings of a romantic um, endeavor. Or um, maybe this is somebody like at work or, you know, just kind of a friend of a friend who is really trying to get in there, right? Trying to um, get in the mix of things. And um, maybe has become a little too friendly a little too quickly. And, um, and so, yes, be careful with that one for sure. Okay. 
Now we do, I keep looking at this little ghost up here. Looks like a little ghost with a kind of an owl, right? Now I'm looking, it looks like it has a beak and little eyes. And But I'm going to read it as a ghost because it, to me it keeps having this feeling of uh, something kind of hanging around um, the perimeter of your life. And I don't think it feels bad. I don't think it's, you know, any kind of... Um, uh, malicious or malevolent kind of spirit um i think that this is just kind of a watcher and with the with the kind of owl vibes too that makes sense to me this is something just kind of roving and um watching what you're doing because it is interested in your energy your aura your light and um and so i i can imagine that you kind of have um some perception of this intelligence, uh, this entity. And, um, you know, I don't think it's like, it's not like an oppressive haunt or um, an oppressive poltergeist situation. Uh, but I do think that this is, you know, just kind of little strange things. And mostly, though, kind of in their energy, right? Just like you feel it when you're coming home. Um, even if you, maybe entering your yard, walking up to the door, it feels like there's almost a sense of, um, like a breeze coming through where there, you know, it's like a really still day and there's no wind and, uh, you get out of your car and you're walking up to the, to the front door and it just feels like a wind tunnel. And kind of like, wow, that's weird. What's going on there? You know? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think there's something. I think there's something around. Something around watching you. Like a little TT maybe. Mm hmm? You're very pushy tonight, my love. Just go ahead and lay down. Okay, and I wanted to look at this one too. We have the salamander. So we're dealing with the wands. We're dealing with strife. And I think really the strife is, is as simple as um, doing well, but also um, getting into a place where you're not super trusting yourself. Um, I think that uh, when, so when you start to perceive somebody as being maybe... Um, they have an agenda. This is why they're trying to get close to you or get to know you. There's some kind of, um, you know, I don't know, predatory or like a, even just like an agent of chaos of some kind. Um, this, uh, you know, this feeling I think can get you pulled out of this place of feeling pretty good about what you've been doing for yourself and getting into this kind of mental labyrinth where it's just, you know, questioning on and on and on. Yeah, at the same time, um, not setting boundaries for yourself, kind of like pushing yourself to, um, you know, maybe engage with this person, get to know them, even though everything about them is telling you, uh, this is, this is like, not for me, this person, um, you know, makes me uncomfortable, they make me anxious, um, maybe, you know, it's just their energy, maybe their personality, it's not that they're a bad person, um, there's just, you know, it doesn't really resonate with, um, how you live, right, and, um, and that makes it uncomfortable, but, I could see you kind of pushing yourself to, to get past this, see if you could get to a point where it starts to be more comfortable. And uh, that process um, can start to feel pretty overwhelming. So, um, you know, I think that it's important that you listen to how you feel. And again, like I said, checking in with yourself. Because I do think this is a time of great abundance, you know, that goldfish was, a, it's a big formation. And, um, and it makes me think that, uh, you know, that there's 
a lot of passion and with the salamander which is the elemental for fire and we know the wands are fire um there is uh, a lot of passion love care feeding your ability to do the work that you do and make the money make the resources that you are making and i think that's why you are doing just amazing things okay um and also you know i think part of this is making sure that you are um, saving money investing money um, trying to be um, not so frivolous with the money that is coming in um, and you know having a good plan uh, making some kind of financial plan for yourself or going and and um, seeing somebody who can help you build a financial plan um, I think that's really important to counteract um, these kinds of feelings of being overly ecstatic and in this kind of joyous sensation and um, all that stuff's good it's just you know what we have to <laughs> we have to be mindful when we're in those places so I think you know balancing that feeling with doing some of the boring adulting that we have to do sometimes um, just to make sure that everything is going to kind of um, you know be put to use in the way that you would like it to be so that you know you're not lamenting your decisions your choices in the future here okay now I want to look at this. So we have the crab claw. We have a flower. Oh, no, no. It's like a bird feeder or something with a heart. And then we have some kind of metal with a heart. Like a, some kind of um, award. Uh, and so I wonder if this this kind of spirit that is in your life right now, I almost wonder if they were somebody who was quite accomplished. Um, I also think that it's somebody who had an attachment to wildlife or birds. Um, and I wonder if this is now I was thinking this is just kind of a roving spirit like in the you know this these things happen where you could be out in the world doing your thing and um, something kind of uh, notices you and attaches itself to you. Um, it could be you know literally kind of roving around the 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 landscape right the um, I always think of these, uh, I live on the, on the prairie, right, on the plains of the um, northern Midwest, and um, there's a lot of mythologies about um, prairie um, spirits, and they're very connected to the winds, because we have a lot of wind here, it's a lot of open space, and um and so there's, you know, kind of, you get a lot of the uh, whispering on the wind or a cold wind bringing in um, a spirit that will cause illness on the house and this kind of thing. Um, and I thought maybe this is kind of that energy, not the illness, but an energy of a, a roving spirit out in the landscape. Uh, but I do wonder if this maybe is somebody you know, because it seems like they're showing me here, like they have, um, they're very kind of decorated or they've won awards for something. Um, and then also these birds, they like to feed birds. And these are two things that they are very proud of. Okay. Um, also down here we have this little goldfish again swimming. Um, so... I almost kind of wonder if it's like, uh, can kind of confirming this, this, um, being proud of your, um, successes. Okay. They notice, they see they're mirroring that goldfish, the abundance in your life, um, the happiness that you have found your ability to create for yourself. And then we have that crap. Don't you don't 
Don't do that. That's not nice. I, you know I don't feel good. And you're going to growl because I won't let you lick me. No. That isn't okay. Okay. Um, so we have the, the claw, right? And I feel like this is almost kind of that, like a... Um, like a win right strength like this the little emoji for the strong arm um it is kind of this like you're really feeling confident and this spirit kind of uh mirroring that energy um you know and and so i don't know maybe this is something that has watched you over time or maybe this is an elder or an ancestor that is kind of tied to you um, but whoever it is or whatever it is, um, I do think that there's a sense of pride there and kind of want to share you like we're on the same level. Like, look at what I've done. Okay. And I can see what you've done and we we're equals here. Okay. <laughs> and, um, it feels very kind of endearing. Definitely. Okay. So now we're going to go take a look at these, the Dreamer's Deck, 40 Affirmations for Pursuing Your Dreams from the I Know Collection. Yes, I know. All right, I'm going to stop right there, flip it over. It says, I know that I must stay in the present to enjoy the journey. I am right here. I am right here. Yes. All right. Well, Cancer, I want to tell you right off the top here, I love you, I love you, I love you, and I appreciate you for spending this time with me and uh, letting me do these readings for you it's always such an honor and if you would be so kind as to like the video it really does help the channel so much and if you have not subscribed yet please think about doing that you can hit that little bell it'll let you know when the next videos are coming out it is free to subscribe and um, if you uh, would like to leave a comment please do um, <laughs> I was laughing Somebody was telling me, oh, you're talking so slow. I can barely handle it. <laughs> um, so I apologize. I don't know. I'm just tired. <laughs> I've been having the flu here. So um, sometimes I can laugh about the, the very kind of critical <laughs> um, comments. Uh, but I don't know. I'm also very sensitive. If you know me at all, if you've watched the readings, at all you know that I have a tendency to cry and um and I am since I am a sensitive being I really am I've spent a lot of my life feeling um feeling really embarrassed about that uh for some reason but you know what I don't know maybe it's just getting older and having a kid or or whatever it is um I I'm very proud of being a sensitive person and um, knowing, you know, what, what I will accept from others and what I won't, you know. I don't, ex I'm not going to tell anybody how to live or anything. But, you know, um, if I don't like what you have to say to me, I'm not going to keep it on here. You know, if it's mean, of course. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. But most of the time, I'm just kind of smiling and laughing and Honestly, so honored by those of you who share about yourselves, um, super elated, um, you know, by the connections I've made and, um, all in all, it's been such a wonderful experience, uh, here at this channel and, um, and it's cool because my husband, shout out to Dove and Serpentero, um, his name is Paul, uh, we both get to do similar work. And, uh, you know, that's, that's a blessing. So we appreciate you all. A lot of you watch his stuff and my stuff and, um, you all are absolute rock stars and, and wonderful. So again, I love you. Take care of yourself. We'll talk in a few days and 
Oh, make sure that you are washing your hands. I'll tell you what. <laughs> it's so getting sick so many times this year. These kids are just it's it's the young ones. My daughter's almost uh, four, so it's just one sickness after another. So what are you gonna do? All right, love ya. Talk to you later. Take care of yourself. Good night.